lifting seven pounds so far. <laughs> All right, um, first thing, ladies and gentlemen, if we are looking into dividing this, again, what we can basically look into is making sure that we have it raised to the power of one, uh, which in this case it is. So therefore, again, this is your factor, right? And your divisor is your factor, or we want to test to see basically if that's a factor. But remember when using synthetic division, we always want to use the zero. So I'm going to set that equal to zero and solve, and I get x equals negative 1 half, right? Okay. So I take negative 1 half here. I follow an order, make sure I have every single power, 3, 2, 1, all the way descending order. I'm just going to take the coefficients. So remember, the first one, don't want to get this one wrong. This is the freebie, right? Everybody likes freebies. So when you take the freebie, you bring down the 6 first. You don't have to do any math to get the freebie. All you simply do is take down the first, uh, first value. Okay? Then, now we multiply on the diagonal. So it's th 6 times negative 1 half is negative 3. And then we add vertically. 41 plus negative 38 is going to be a pot. I'm sorry, 41 plus negative 3 is going to be a negative 38. <laughs> Positive 38. Then again, we multiply on the diagonal. 38 times negative 1 half is going to be a negative 19. Negative 19 plus negative uh, 9 is going to be a negative 28. Then again, multiply on the diagonal. Positive 14. Add them up, you get a 0. So therefore, again, that's your remainder. The next to last term is your constant. This is the coefficient of your linear term. This is the coefficient of your quadratic term. And if you had more and more numbers, you would just keep on going up higher and higher. So therefore, my answer, q of x, is equal to 6x squared plus 38x minus 28. Now, since the remainder is a 0, can I say 2x plus 1 is a factor? Yes, it evenly divides into it. And can I say x equals negative 1 is a x-intercept? Yes, because it's a 0, right? The root solution, right? Ooh, that means Mr. McLogan might 